I'm so proud of you. Trilon Lias just earned his black belt in karate. Good job, Mr. Thank you. And while this alone is a momentous occasion, there is something that sets him apart from the rest. So I've been blind all my life. The 29-year-old says he was born without sight. Lias was premature, weighing only one pound, 13 ounces. You can pretty much fit me in the palm of your hand when I was small. The doctors didn't think I was going to make it, but you know, with the grace of God, I poured through. But as life carried on, he faced many challenges and hardships. You know, felt like, you know, why God put me in this world? Why did he make me this way? And, you know, I thought about taking my life at some at some points. And then he says a little voice spoke to him. Just telling me, hey, you know, the guy has a purpose for your life. He's got you know, you, you'd be taking your own life without realizing what you have. So Lias decided to accept that he is blind and take life by the handles and live it to the fullest. When he was 17 years old, Lias chose to pursue karate because his foster mom's car was stolen. You know, I was looking after her more than anything and I said, you know, I really want to get into something that I can defend her or if I needed to defend myself. And that's when he found a love for karate. It was about halfway through his current karate career when Lias came here to James Holland's karate school in Irving. Holland immediately recognized him from a karate tournament. I had an orange belt about his age, and this is, I guess he was about 17 or 18. Uh, my orange belt was also about 17 or 18, and they ended up meeting in the final rounds and Trilon actually beat my sighted student. Lias was eager to learn and came with an agenda. If you're willing to teach me, I'm willing to learn. Never done it before. Initially, I was nervous because I didn't want to mess up. Okay? But being a black belt, I could face my fears. So I said, if this guy can do it, I can do it. Lias's other instructor, Rebecca Walther, felt the same nerves. Well, I kind of had the same initial concern as everybody. How do you teach somebody how to kick that can't see a kick? How do you teach somebody how to punch that can't see a punch? But together, they learned, and Lias continued climbing the ladder of karate belt colors. The hardest part was to get used to him touching my body. Uh, you know, I had to be comfortable with my body, letting him run his hands up, figuring out the body postures I'm using. It has been a journey and hard work for both Lias and his instructors. For me, it's, it's just, you know, the challenge of, hey, I got to work 20 times harder to, to get what I want. And, and I'm not going to give up, though. But his strength touches so many along the way. He actually made me a better teacher because I learned how to explain things in bizarre ways. And I learned how to let the constraints go that make you not want to do something that makes you uncomfortable. When he does something and he does it very well, it impacts everybody. You, know, you look at this guy, he's throwing jump spin kicks just like anybody else can. And this moment of achievement brings it full circle proving to others you can do anything you set your mind to. Because this is another stepping stone in my life that I've overcome. I mean, I, and I know it's not over yet. I mean, this, this is just the beginning for me, really, to tell the truth as a black belt. Lias plans to earn all of the black belt degrees, but he also has high aspirations outside of karate. Well, my biggest dream that I want to try to do is become a DJ. I love music. My other big dream is, you know, I want a family. I want to have a family. I want to be married. I want to show my kids that, you know, dreams can come true. He leaves one last note of encouragement. Don't give up. You keep, keep your dream going, and whatever you want to do, you can succeed. Wise words from a very courageous man. Ashley Roberts for City Source.